As embarrassing as I like to admit, I have a stinky will friend. No, it's not the kind of will that we have as a pet, but when I spend all of the monthly allowance on Genshin, then proceeds to not even play the game. So I decided to ask them if I could use their account for a video, and they said sure, do whatever you want with it. So I decided to spend all of the fragile resins to properly build them a team with their neglected characters, and after that, take the newly built characters to complete Floor 12 as well. And believe me, this account is very cursed, but building the characters were worth it in the end. Okay, so looking at the character roster right now, I can see they have a decent roster kind of built up. But it's definitely characters that are kind of abandoned. Oh, so you have a Farina, a Jin, and a Tainari that's basically single digit level. Oh, okay, and also you have a Cookie as well that's not even built or even touched. So just by looking at some of your characters here, I do have an idea. Okay, so the Hotel is probably built already with a Staff of Homa. Yeah, I definitely don't need to do anything with some of your characters here, Yalan. Okay, I actually have to check what weapons you have as well. Let me just go into like some of your characters that you haven't even built yet. I'm thinking of a Hyper Bloom team maybe. And maybe I can build up Jin as well since she's a pretty good healer with Farina. And since you only have a level 1 Farina, which is pretty sad, I definitely will try to raise her up a little bit. How could you not touch Cookie at all? She definitely deserves some leveling. And she'll definitely help out your account as well after I build her. Okay, so you have a pretty decent selection of 5-star weapons and some that's not really touched. Okay, good. You have a lot of 4-stars. Resident Desire as well. I don't really need to build a weapon for your Farina. Still rocking some level 80 weapons, I see. And definitely a lot of abandoned weapons that just kind of sits in your inventory. And this account does have a lot of fragile resins. Plus the transient resins as well that I'll be using. So we're definitely not short of those resins. So we could definitely finish your characters with the help of these resins. So this is looking like a team I'll be building. So probably a Hyper Bloom team with Kale, Cookie, Farina, and Jean. And this is pretty easy since they're all at level 1. So I'll have a good amount of characters to focus on. Okay, so let's just focus on Farina first and start fighting the boss. You don't even have the waypoint unlocked? Then why did you even pull for Farina first? Not gonna lie. Your exploration is a little bit lacking because there are so many puzzles and time trials that you just left. Oh, and there's also a quest over there. Oh, there's a chest over there. You even play this game? Yeah, you're welcome for the free exploration that I'm doing for you. Alright, let's just start off with a good three drops. Please, do it. Okay, this is going to be long. Well, at least you already have a good amount of flowers farmed, so that's a relief. Okay, so I know there's a lot of flowers here, so I'm just gonna go collect them real quick and probably just go around the perimeter once and we'll be able to get enough. Wait, why does your Yonan feel so strong? Wait, what? Alright, I believe we collected enough flowers. So now we just gotta farm the boss stuff and then hopefully we'll be able to ascend Farina. Okay, that's good. Alright, let's ascend- Whoa, okay, you have a lot of books. I can see you do not like to level up characters and hoard as much as I do. I'll just leave her at level 59 for the time being, since I'm not able to ascend her any further. But yeah, weapon, I should probably give her, like, the Festering Desire. I believe that would be fine for now. So I'm just gonna slap this on her right now. Artifact-wise, we might need some work. Let me just check. Okay, so you do not have that much Golden Troop artifacts, so we'll probably be farming some of these. Energy Recharge is fine, but I do have Festering Desire already, so I might not really need these. But I'll definitely need to farm some. Okay, this piece is a little bit unfortunate. So I'll probably spend the majority of your resins in Artifact Domain for Farina. Oh, you actually do have some Constellation as well. All right. Oh, you didn't even activate them. You activate for it? Wait, okay. So you have C6 and you just left her like this? Wow. Wait, so that changes some things then. Because instead of the golden troop artifact sets we might actually want to use the mari sussy hunter one actually but i'll be farming the same domain anyway so i don't think it really matters but this kind of changes things oh yeah and also we just have a casual c6 yell on as well sure but yeah let's just get farina to max level first and then we'll worry about artifacts okay so i just got permission to activate the constellations so let me just do it real quick I actually haven't even tried out C6 Farina yet, so I'm not really sure how to play her. I just know that she can do a lot of damage. Also, keep in mind, I don't really have any artifacts right now, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Hydro Infusion. Nice. Wait, I'm dying. Ow. 
I can't even beat these crabs up. Okay. This will do. Got a good amount of crab farming as well done. Okay, I'm kind of getting triggered just watching your world having these domains that are not even unlocked yet. Do you even care about exploration? Okay, so we can finally ascend Farina again. Alright, now that Farina is level 70, let's go farm some artifacts. So, at level 70, Farina can actually do pretty decent amount of damage already. But mainly because she's C6 and she's kind of getting carried. I'm actually looking forward to seeing the Maru Chusei set. Okay, so I need a crit damage one. Okay, this will take a while. Okay. Immediately, we got a pretty good flower. So, let's just lock this. Okay. Uh, let's give me another double crit feather. Okay. If this hits crit damage, it'll be good. And also, I believe her Numa form does more damage. So, let's just test it out. Oh, yeah. So, her Numa form definitely does more damage with her Hydro Infusion. But I'm doing like 40k. Wow. My artifacts are not even that strong yet. I'm definitely looking forward to see... The maximum potential of the C6 Farina for this account. Nothing good. Okay, Golden Troop. I mean, this one is pretty good. I'll lock this as well. So all five condensed, I was able to get this one, which is pretty good. So I'm just hoping that I'll be able to get no defense on my fourth stat. And with one crit rate upgrade, it's already better than my plus 16 flowers so so this is something that i'm hoping to exceed which is not really saying much because this artifact is already pretty sad all right give me hp okay this is looking to be a pretty busted piece if we get all the crits all right let me see the crit damage yes another one okay let's just hit every crit damage there is all right genshin gods what do we have here crit rate not bad Alright, let's see how lucky I am today. Well, we hit a crit rate with crit damage again. But honestly, every other lines are good, so... Whether or not we hit crit is not important. Another crit rate, okay. I think this is casually a pretty busted flower already. And a part of me is kind of dying inside because this is not on my main account. So it's definitely an upgrade. And honestly, the flower is probably hard to surpass, so this flower is already good. But we do still need to improve on a few pieces like sand, so we definitely need an HP one. And I'm also looking for a crit damage circle as well. So we gotta continue to farm a little bit more. After we beat up a boss though. Okay, another three. That's good. HP circle, not really anything that I'm looking for. So this is the current Farina that we're looking at right now. She has an 84% crit rate and a 132% crit damage. Energy recharge is kind of overkill right now. So I'm pretty sure with Constellation, she doesn't really need that much of energy recharge. So we're probably looking for HP% percent sands. If we can get one. And the talents are still at level 1. But I guess there are constellations, so she starts with level 4. But normal attack is something we need to actually level as well. I can actually get this to a little bit higher, so let's just do that real quick. Well, we can actually take this to level 9 already. Okay, so for now, we can stay at 6, 9, and 9, which is pretty good already. Okay, let's just use a little bit more of these. Okay, I'm actually curious to see whether or not Farina can solo carry. I'm going to use this team as well, because I'll be using this at towards the end. I kind of just want to see how it goes and see if Farina can solo carry herself. Hopefully my level 1 characters won't die though, because that would be a tragedy if that happens. Okay. Well, she is going to definitely be solo carry now. What could go wrong, huh? Only two deaths, but I'm glad I was able to make it through. Bad and mediocre. The flower with double crit. Okay, I don't think we even need this, but I'm just gonna lock it just in case. Another flower. Just give me a circlet with sands. Better, not good. Flower. Oh. Cool. Okay, sands. Wait, is this goblet or sands? I think this is goblet. HP. Hmm. Not a bad feather. If we can get a good amount of crit damage, I think this is usable. So with a feather we have right now, it's not really a tough task to surpass it. But we do really need to get more than 13% crit damage for it to be actually better. And I don't think we really need a crit rate that much because Farina already has like 
84% crit rate right now. And with 4 pieces of this Maru Chusei set, you're probably over cap with crit, so let's hope we can get some crit damage lines. I start off with crit damage. Alright. This 14% already made it better than my other piece. Let's say another crit damage, which will be extra credit. Okay, attack. Come on, I need another crit damage. Alright, cool. Let's see. Oh, I got scammed. Alright, 28% crit damage. Attack again. Come on, one more line. Alright, I got EM. Not the worst that could happen, but still. We started off strong, but kind of stopped at the end. Well, I would say this is still a pretty good upgrade compared to my other set, so I'm just going to use this. Now we kind of just need a sand and a circlet, and then we should be good. On a boss run side, I just need a little bit more, and then I should be able to level her up to level 90. Okay, I'm able to send Farina again, now that she has 66% crit right now. So with her feathers, she did lose crit rate, but that's fine, since once we get 4 pieces of Maru Chuse, we'll probably be good after that. Okay, so with Farina at level 80 now, I think we can shift our focus to other characters to raise. So we're probably gonna raise Cookie next. She does have Constellation, so let me just activate it real quick. But yeah! Cookie definitely is going to be a character that you'll be thanking me later for, for building, so... She doesn't need a flower, so you already have these. Spectres, we might need to farm a little bit more, since... I don't know if 132 is even enough. Oh, so we need to farm the runic fangs. Okay, so we definitely lack a little bit of spectres. But yeah, let's just go farm this boss first, and hopefully we'll be... Excuse me? How are you AR60 with a whole C6 Farina and you don't even have this place unlocked? Um, I don't even know if it's possible to even get to the worm without finishing the world quest. But let me check and see. Okay, I'm so lost. It's so dark, I can't see anything. Well, I guess we're just gonna farm for Cookie a little bit later in co-op. But for now, uh, let's just build Farina still. Level 90, I guess. Well, out of fact times again. Let's see, HP Sands or a crit damage circlet. Okay, this might be it. Let's just get a crit damage circlet and then an HP Sands. Okay, I swear this is backwards. Yup. Crit damage? Okay. Keeper. HP Sands? Okay, driven but not a correct set. Okay, one of these are bound to be another crit damage, right? EM. Defense. Never mind. Two feathers. Eh. Okay, so we did get a crit damage circlet. So, uh, this will kind of hurt to replace this other crit rate that we already have. But, like I said earlier, with the Mario Chusei set, this will be worth it in the end. So what I'm hoping for, for the fourth line, is energy recharge. Okay, I didn't get it. But now the only thing I'm hoping for is crit rate lines, so let's just get him. Okay, attack. I mean, HP is fine as well, so I just want to see crit rate with HP, alright? Attack again. Come on. Yes. That's a pretty good roll as well, since I believe it's probably above average. If we get a max crit rate roll right now, we'll be able to hit 10%. I believe, if my math serves me correctly. So let's get a 10% crit rate right now. Cool, what am I supposed to do with all these attack? Oh yeah, nothing. But I guess it's fine to have. Well, if I replace this, let's just see what I'll crit rate right now. 41% now. But my crit damage is getting higher. Energy recharge is a little bit lower, but it's fine. Okay, so now I'm actually choosing whether to level up her skills or normal attack. But it's kind of looking like I need to level up her normal attack since this account is already C6. Okay, so now I need more of these, but this is a weekly boss, so I'm not sure if I'm able to crown her. Okay, I actually can exchange a few, so let's do it real quick. Alright. I was actually able to get enough for three of these, so that's good. I'm hoping that I'm doing the correct choice to level up a normal attack to level 8. And then I'm probably just going to level up her skill to level 10. And her burst to level 10, so it'll be more equaled. I think this is the furthest I could take her talents, so her talents are basically done now. But yeah, besides that, I just need to get an HP% percent Sands, HP or Hydro Goblet if I can, and maybe I can upgrade my circlet still if I can find a better one. 
Alright, let's craft five more of these. Hopefully RNG is good to me this time with artifacts. Feathers, okay. Eh. Good damage? Okay. Kinda underwhelming. Sands, okay. It's HP. Fine then. Okay, all of these are not a set I'm looking for. Figures will be garbage as well. Good damage? No. Okay, flower. Goblet. If this is the other goblet, I think it would have been nice. But unfortunately, it's the golden troop set. Again. I'm just glad it runs are quick. Okay, feather again. Flower. Nothing. Okay, this is it. HP percent sands and quick damage circlet again. Mm, HP percent, but there's no quick damage lines. I mean, I could press four this maybe, and then we'll see if we can get quick damage. Okay. Goblet, I'm hoping for a hydro damage with HP. Serious? Okay, on the bright side, these are low rolls, but still. Okay, this is a pretty good circlet, but. Not something that I would use on Farina. Another crit rate circlet? Okay. I mean, lockable, I guess. HP sands, but not what I'm looking for. No crit damage, so subsets are kind of bad. This file is just bad. Well, maybe we can have some kind of offset? My goblet is off piece right now. Hmm. This is decent, so maybe I could use this to reach a four set. So I'm just enhance this one and see what we can get. I'm hoping for energy recharge lines though, instead of crit rate. Come on, energy recharge? Pack. Energy? Defense. Let's see. Another attack line. Maybe this isn't really worth leveling up now. But I'll just press 16 just to see the next stat before I give up on it. Okay. Energy? Maybe I'll go for plus 20 and see what we get. Oh, I think I got defense again. I had to skip it because I didn't know I would get a times 5. Hmm, okay, maybe sands. I'll see if I can get a quick damage line before I give up on it. I'll just plus 4 to see. Quick damage? Attack, okay, so not really usable. But let me see if I can find like a RP sands for Farina. Because energy recharge is fine, but we do have a lot of energy. So we might not really need it. Let's go for HP percent. Okay, this one's pretty good. It has a pretty high crit rate crit damage ratio with energy recharge. I don't know why this isn't locked, but sure. I'll lock it. Yeah, this piece is definitely worse than what I'm currently wearing, so this one still wins. Hmm. That's high energy, but like I said, we don't really need energy anymore. Nope. Besides the crit damage and crit rate, there's nothing good. Okay, this one is kind of sad. Good energy, but not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Debatable. Okay, this one's on Hu Tao, so... I have no idea Hu Tao was winning this, by the way. Another Hu Tao line, I guess. Ooh, has 1k HP, though, so... Maybe this is actually good. Oh, okay. Why do I have this artifact? And why is it on Ningguang right now? I don't even think Ningguang even needs HP. And why is it not locked, more importantly? Okay, I think this one is definitely the winner. It has a lot of crit damage, so... It could be used as an offset. Hmm... I think this is pretty good. Besides the goblet, which I think is the weakest piece right now for this Farina, let me check the stats right now. 41 and 187%. So, we could definitely reach 200% crit damage if we get a better goblet. But I think this line is fine now since I'm using 4 piece Marichuse. Yeah. Let's just go fight a boss again and see if we will be able to ascend Farina finally. I haven't seen a 3 in a long time, so give me a 3. Okay, so if I get 3 again. Then we'll have enough for level 90 ascension for Farina. Alright, let's see. Plus 3? Of course, you just want me to waste my resin. <sighs> just need one more. Oh, battle pass. We get one extra fragile. Sure, this will definitely help us. Oh wait, we actually got one acquainted fate as well. We have 59 of them? Well, I guess while we wait, let me just take out the ascension fate as well for Farina. And maybe do a temple. I don't know what standard banner this account wants, but... Let me just do a temple and see. Don't get me gold, okay. Purple. Ooh, a Layla, okay. And of course we get a Ring Slasher. I mean, not a bad temple, and you actually need her constellation. I'm hoping I don't get in trouble for polling. Okay, finally. Of course you gave me two. 
But it doesn't matter anyways. Because we're finally able to ascend Freyna. 46% crit rate, so not bad. Especially with my 4 piece. I don't really think we need to worry about crit rate at all. Alright, she'll get to level 89. Okay, so at level 89, we do have a lot of HP, like around 43k. And our stat is currently looking like this, which is maybe not final since I could definitely improve her a little bit. But I do believe that we're done with Farina for now. And we can finally start building our other three characters. And then after we're done, hopefully we can go to the Abyss and just test her out and see. Okay, next we have Jean to build. She does need some of these bosses, so we'll be farming the Butterfly. And material-wise, the Helicho one seems good already, so I don't really need to farm them. But we definitely need to farm some Dandelion Seeds as well to get her to level 90. Since this boss is a monster boss, we can probably just one-shot it, especially with our C6 characters. Oh yeah. So the annoying part of this boss is it doesn't die instantly. We have to play through this little mini game and collect all of these orbs. Like a 3D Pac-Man or something before we can kill the boss again. Okay, so this definitely takes a bit of time. I right, just start off with three. Nice. Okay, let's see how far we can take her. I'll just ascend her as far as possible before we can anymore. Okay, so we managed to take her up to 60, and let's just leave her at level 69 for now. But yeah, I guess flower picking time. Okay, Jean is finally able to get to level 80 now. Oh yeah, and since I was busy collecting flowers, I realized I didn't have any weapons on her, so let me just give her some weapon. So this account does have the flute, which is scaling by attack, so I think this is good. Oh wow, and also a level 50 Favonia sword as well. This weapon definitely needs to be upgraded. So maybe I'll use this weapon instead, just so I can build this for the sake of this account. They do have the materials for it, so I'm not sure why they left it at level 50. There you go. Weapon finally max ascended. Hmm, let me check for refinements, actually. Oh. You just have a lot of these weapons over here. And never bother to touch them at all. I thought it would definitely be very helpful. For Jin's artifacts, I'm looking for four-piece VV. So let me just check and see what we got to work with. Hmm. There's barely any flowers. Half-leveled feather. Sands. There's barely anything. But I like how you keep HP. And also a defense one. And none of them are locked. Robert definitely needs some help. And circlet, okay. Well, this one's pretty good. Has a lot of energy recharge. But it doesn't have any crit rate. So we might want crit rate since we're using Favonius weapon. Hmm, maybe this could work. Okay, let's look for an attack percentage sands. Hmm, this one has a lot of HP. Oh cool. There's a casual attack percent sands with double crit that's not locked. Oh wow, okay. How come your Shangling isn't using this thing? Oh well, mine now. So I do have four piece now, but I do need to enhance some of them. This artifact is looking pretty promising. I don't know why you just stopped at plus 12 since you already have double digit crit damage. Let's just see if we can get this artifact a little bit better. What we want is energy recharge or crit damage. Both are fine. Attack is good as well. And we got defense. Let's see, attack. Okay, not bad. Attack is nice with Jean. It's better. Honestly, I don't even know what to look for now. Probably just double crit. More HP. Okay, plus 5. Crit rate. Alright, uh, secret damage for the... Eh. Okay, that's fine. We do need a lot of crit rate, so... With well, our artifacts assembled now, let's just check her stats. 54% crit rate is not bad. And 107 crit damage. So this is kind of perfect, actually. Energy recharge, I think we have enough since we have Favonius. Virginia is looking to be very much ready. We just need to work on her levels. Oh yeah, and talents. Talents at level 8, I believe is enough. Normal attack, we can just leave it since we don't normally use Jin on field. I think that's fine. Okay, so we got another 3 Hurricane Seeds. Now we just need 15 more. And then we can ascend Jin to level 90. But yeah, I think we can work on another character now since we'll just be farming bosses until Jin is level 90. So let's work on our next character. Okay, let's see what Kali needs for her ascension. Some dendro pieces, mushrooms, and arrow. Okay, so boss material-wise, this account already has 25. So this should be easy. Only need to fight it once to level her up to 80. So we'll probably be farming a mushroom more. 
I kind of forgot where these mushrooms are located at, so let me just walk around Sumeru and see if we can find any. I know there are a good amount of mushrooms over here, so... Oh, okay, we already see one. Yep, I can buy five of them, so thank you. Okay, so we managed to collect a good amount of mushrooms now, so let's just ascend Kali and see what else we need. Okay, so she's level 70 now. We need more of these beaks and also a few of these flowers. And then we should be good. Since we only need one more of this beak, let's just go and farm the boss. Please tell me you have it unlocked. Okay, you don't. Okay, so do we just go into the orb? I vaguely remember. This boss fight is pretty easy though. Yep, them even break a sweat. Because of my C6 characters. Okay, give me three. Nice. Even though I'm probably just gonna leave Kali at level 80. I think this is fine. Okay, so besides a few flowers, we already have enough boss material for level 80. And let me just check what weapon she needs. Or what we have to work with. I think Sacrificial Bow could definitely work. If not, there's always a Favonius Warbow that I'm actually surprised this account has maxed. Constellations? Okay, you have C6. So let's just activate all of them since it'll definitely help out Kali in general. For Artifact, we're looking for probably Deepwood, which will help us with our Hyper Broom team. Wow. <laughs> this flower definitely has a lot of defense. In fact, defense is all you got. Since we need to protect Kali at all costs, I believe this is a good flower for her, so let's just equip it. And also lock it. Feather, I think I'm gonna be looking for energy recharge. And since this account doesn't have energy, we'll probably be farming some of the deep wood sets. Goblet, I think dental damage bonus is fine. And this piece looks pretty good, so let me just equip this. Circle wise, I think this could probably work since there's also energy recharge. Okay, let me just level up this goblet and see what we get. Alright, got energy recharge first. Another one maybe? Okay. Oh, another energy. So, with 25% on Goblet, we might not need energy recharge stance after all. Let's just check Kali's overall stats right now. Okay, the EM and stamina actually looks very really satisfying. Maybe we shouldn't change any of her stats anymore. Okay, stats-wise, I think Kali is looking good. We just need to ascend her a little bit, and then we should be good. Okay, there's another mushroom here. So, with that mushroom, we can actually ascend Kali to level 80 now. Okay, so she ascends with attack. So I don't think that our elemental mass will ever get touched. Alright, I think we're done with Kali. She looks pretty good. Talent-wise, we probably need to level her skill and burst up a little bit, so let's just do it real quick. I believe leaving them at level 9 should be good enough. Okay, so for Cookie, we actually need to level her up to 90 because most of her Hyper Bloom damage skills by her base stats. So the higher the level, the more damage it does. Besides that, we need to stack EM as well on her. Oh, hello. Me from the other side. Sorry to bother you, good sir. Alright, you look nice. I don't know why I'm typing to myself. Maybe me will think I'm weird, if that makes sense. Oh. Okay. Totally not just typing on my phone. Okay, stop. Stop giving myself praise. Does anyone else do this, by the way? Just cooping with yourself and talking to myself. I need to go outside and touch grass more. Okay, let's see a 3 drop. Okay, I deserved it. Yep, I totally deserve that. Just gonna kick myself out. Okay, since we did a bit of farming, let's just see... Okay, what if I do this? I probably shouldn't, since they'll be watching the video. And eh, whatever. Okay, another ascension. Okay, new talent unlocked. Alright, we just have... Enough boss materials to ascend her to level 80. So that's good. Alright, now she's 80. With zero EM at all, so we gotta get this number up. Hmm, weapon-wise, I think I'm just gonna use... Wait, why is she using Iron Sting? Well, Iron Sting works, luckily, so... I guess we can just steal Chi-Chi's weapon. But... Interesting. Okay. Okay, so for Cookie's artifact, we'd want to use either Flower or Paradise Lost, or go to Dreams. Both could work. Okay, this account doesn't have any flowers. Feather... Hmm, this feather is pretty good. EM sand already, okay. No EM goblet. Circlet? No EM circlet, okay. So we do need to farm this setlin, which is good because we can actually start farming now. As for cookies' flower, we can just use some replacements for now. 
Go to dreams is fine. Just stacking her EM as high as possible. Okay, 805 is not bad. But we definitely need to farm up some artifacts. So we were looking for flower, circlet, and perhaps goblet. <sighs> of course, no wonder you don't have any flowers. Well, you're gonna see the fastest teleportation ever. See, I'm already here. Oh. Okay, so even though our characters are not fully leveled up yet, we can still try it out and see how it fares in this domain. Oh, we got two flowers off a of bat. Let's see some ER, and then some EMs, and HP maybe. Look at this ER, but no EM. Come on, I just want EM! Physical damage, attack. Okay, circle it, let's get EM. Burrito. EM Goblet? That sucks. Oh, since we got one of these flowers, let's just enhance it and see if we get EM. EM? Defense? Okay, do I dare to go plus 8? Let's see what stats we get. Okay, defense. Good place to stop. Let me just check this one and see if we get EM as well. HP, okay. Not the best. Okay, I think this is the last boss for Jean, so we can actually ascend her now. Okay. Well, it's good that we finally level up Jean. There's a problem that I realized. Initially, I wanted to level up Jean because I didn't know Farina was C6. But, since Farina C6 can heal us, and we probably don't really need that much healing from Jean, I don't really think we need Jean in our team at all. Well, whatever. It's good to level up characters anyways. Okay, I'm back on artifacts. Let's see if we can get EM. Of course not. I need EM sand. We'll circle it. Okay, circlet, HP. Two circlets. Surely there's one EM, right? HP. EM? Goblet, sand. I swear if you give me EM of this set. Okay, good. Goblet, circlet, circlet, EM? HP. One of these days we're bound to get EM, right? Okay, goblet has a chance. Extra damage? Okay, the E kind of startled me. I thought it was EM. Dance, attack. Please, Desert Pavilion. Okay, nothing. I'm not even giving my hopes up anymore. EM Sands. I think I already have EM Sand. I need Goblet and Circlet. What's the chance of getting EM again? Like 5%? Okay, EM Circlet on this piece. Of course. Goblet? Okay, EM? Cryo damage. Alright, let me just pretend I don't need any EMs. Don't give me EM. Okay. I didn't mean to let you take it literally. It's so hard to just get a right set. Okay. There's a goblet. HP. Attack. Pretty good feather. 31 seconds again. Another fast run, so give me something good. Just reward me with something good. Okay, EM circle it. I'm not gonna check it first because maybe checking first is bad omen. Flower. Okay, this is garbage. Got that out of the way. Circle it. Please. Another feathers. Not gonna do anything. Okay, last run. Surely I get a circle, right? Nope. Nothing. Let me just double check what cookie needs. Okay, I actually do need a flower. So, we haven't even gotten a flower since our first run with two flowers. Okay, I'm actually curious whether or not we can get EM on this piece. So, let's just plus 20 it and see. Okay, EM? <laughs> Never mind. I mean, this piece will be good if it has a lot of EM. I'm actually just gonna try and see. Okay, never mind. One more go, plus 8. If there's no EM, then I'll give up. Never mind. Sorry to bother you, Feather. Okay, with all of these poor RNG just now, let's take a breather and I guess we can just farm Ukiz's boss. Well, we're back again. I'm actually not sure how many artifacts I've been farming at this point, but I'm just hoping that I'll get one EM at least. Still. Okay, it's bound to have one EM here, right? Physical. Animal. I feel like it's so hard. It's like 5% or less or something. 
The weirdest part is actually I haven't gotten flowers in so long. Hydro damage. Another five condense, another fail. Of course. Okay, so at this point, I'm probably gonna give Cookies this artifacts one last try because I'm fairly miserably trying to get four pieces of the Flower of Paradise Lost sets. And the EM is not being nice to me. So I probably need to reconsider my build. Like I've already used countless resins. And if I can't find any more flowers or feathers with EM, then I'm probably just gonna whoop up a different piece. If I don't get any EM circlets or goblets, then I'm probably gonna go for a plan B. So we literally have five chances. This might be it. Oh, got defense again. Come on, Genshin. We have one more chance. Okay, flower. First flower since my first exact run. But now, do we have an EM substat? No, we don't. Okay, let's see. This is looking really grim. Final two runs. Another wrong pieces. Okay, I don't need any of these. Could you imagine if we actually get three of what we need right now. Chances of that is probably next to impossible, but if we get EM circlet and EM goblet right now, then I don't know what to say. Okay, none. Well, at least we farm enough runic fangs to ascend cookie now. And finally, we can ascend cookie to max ascension and level her up to 90. So the only unfortunate thing is we couldn't farm her a full set of either Flower Paradise or the Gilded Dream set. So we just had to use what we have and hopefully get as high as possible for Elemental Mastery. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use two-piece Flower Paradise sauce and two-piece Wonder Trove because they both have the 80 extra Elemental Mastery with a two-piece set bonuses. But we do need to enhance this circlet, so let's just do it right, right now. Honestly, the subsets aren't important because... EM doesn't really need crits. So maybe if I get HP, it'll be nice. Okay. The one time I actually want HP, they give it to me. And the reason why I want HP is because I can heal more. Good rate. Oh, defense. Last but not least, we got another defense. Sure. Well, it's not a sub stats that we care about. It's a main stat. So with all of the pieces now, we have almost 1,000 elemental mastery, which is fine. Although we don't have the four piece artifact sets it still looks good and this is our stats basically right now for cookie and our characters are finally all built okay so since our characters are now built let's just go back to this domain and just see how strong we are i'm being stuck here for the longest time with all my characters dead but hopefully now that they're built we'll be able to just complete it fast because hydro enemies as well but i remember when farina was struggling in the past now cookie can just Hyper Bloom with 30k, which is pretty good. We're still getting staggered by the mushrooms, so that never changes. There are definitely some annoying enemies here. Well, the good thing is, at least we didn't die, so that in itself is a win. I'm also interested in testing this build out against the Maku Kenki, because this boss doesn't really move around that much. And I can actually do damage to it. Okay, just Hyper Bloom. Pretty much steal the deal here. Okay, perfect. We got a Pyro Joe Bishop as well. So we should be able to deal maximum amount of damage to it. So far, so good. Okay, this is probably gonna be over. Yup. Well, time for our ultimate test in the abyss with a team. I know Gina isn't really needed for this team since we have C6 Farina. I guess we can still take her along because we built her anyways. I remember this domain. Pretty annoying. Okay, this is a protect leyline Dean again. Definitely not a fan of this because it's very chaotic. I mean, at least I'm one-shotting the slimes. 
That's a good thing, right? Well, we managed to get 3 stars still. Okay, this is a perfect chamber for Farina. Let me see how many stashes I need to take care of the enemy, though. Okay. Just 3 stashes. Can I stash these as well? Okay, yep. Well, pretty much now we just have to wait until the boss dies and break the shield. Okay, that was pretty fast. One pretty much died immediately. And it's over. Okay, third chamber. We have two Fatuis. Sure. Let's just do Hyper Bloom and see. How much damage we're doing? 31k each. Alright, get here. I think I could probably just defeat the enemies really fast. But let me just kind of spectate and see how my, I guess, semi Pokemon team fares. Okay, one died already. Alright, playtime is over. Oh, that was floor 11 down. Okay, so what does floor 12 even have? A lot of pyro enemies, and the second half is perfect for a hyper boom team, so I might actually just bring Farina's team to the second half instead. Okay, so we got a giant invisible Dorito boss. Let's see how good we can do with hyper bloom. Not bad. It's hoping that this boss doesn't run away that much. And this should be able to take care of it. Hey, okay, chicken. Gotta apply a lot of electro on this boss so it will just stop moving like this. Let me just try a hyper boom team. Maybe I won't attack with Rina that often because I actually want to try just pure hyper boom damage and see how it goes. Oh, so good. The boss is basically laying down most of the time. But yeah, it seems like oh, chicken got mad. I don't even know what that achievement was about. Okay, so before we know it, we're already at the third chamber of floor twelve. Against this last boss, but I think we're pretty good now since I think we can just tank everything. Our boss does a lot of damage, so it's kind of scary. Oh, look, he died. When can we actually attack this boss? It just keeps on dancing around. Okay, maybe now. Well, if Cookie wasn't dead, it would probably would have been an easy clear. But I just made it more challenging for myself, I guess. If you want me to build your account as well, I'm planning to stream them on my Twitch channel, so make sure to follow me later and leave your thoughts on this video in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.